Welcome to this module of the simulation video lab series. So in this module we're going to build a model of a subway restaurant and we're going to analyze the performance of the system during uh, lunch rush. So as for the objectives for this lab, we will uh, first build uh, the model of our um, subway sandwich shop in Simio and then we will perform basic verification analysis. We then talk about um, how we can define experiment responses and um, we will also talk about s'more plots and how we can use them to um, interpret the um, simulation outputs and uh, finally we will modify the initial model to compare um, alternative operating policies. So uh, the system that we're going to model uh, in this lab uh, is basically similar to a serial production line. So uh, customers enter the restaurant and then they go to the first stage where they choose the type of bread and meat and cheese that they want on their sandwich. And then the customers go to the next stage, which is the oven. So if they want their sandwich toasted, uh, the worker puts the sandwich in the oven and the oven uh, heats the sandwich and toasts it. And then um, the customers will go to the third stage, which is uh, the veggies station where they uh, you know put uh, lettuce tomatoes and um, other types of vegetables and condiments on their sandwich once the sandwich is ready the customers pay at the cash register and um, after the payment is complete the cashier puts uh, the sandwich in a bag and uh, the customers then uh, go to the drink machine and uh, get their drink and then they leave the system so, um, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to analyze the performance of this system during lunch rush. So, uh, the data that we're given are as follows. So, the arrival rate is uh, 32 customers per hour during the uh, peak uh, uh, lunch hours. So, uh, the service times are all triangularly distributed for all, uh, for all of our five stages uh, in our system and uh, the parameters of our triangular distributions are as follows. So for example, for the bread and meat station, uh, the minimum is one minute, the maximum is two minutes, and uh, the most likely value is 1.5 minutes. Similarly for the oven, the minimum mode and maximum values are um, half a minute, one minute, and 1.5 minutes. And uh, you can see the other uh, uh, parameters for other stages here. Uh, the other thing is that not all of our customers want their sandwich toasted. So um, the data that we're given um, indicates that only 70% of the customers want their sandwich toasted and 30% get cold sandwiches. However, the uh, current operating policy of this restaurant requires that we maintain uh, first in first out throughout the system. In other words, we do not allow customers who want cold sandwiches past the customers that are waiting for their sandwich to be uh, toasted. As for the performance measures that we're interested in, um, particularly we want to evaluate uh, server utilizations and also average time in system and expected number in system um, at steady state. As always, you can find um, a complete description of the system that we are modeling in the lab uh, in the lab document that is available to you. And uh, you can also see um, the steps that we're going to take uh, in the videos that are summarized in the lab document. And finally, uh, you will find the assignments and submission requirements for those of you who are taking this course, uh, uh, who are watching the, this lab as part of a course that you're taking. And we'll talk about the assignments in the last video. So now we can jump to Simio and start building our initial model. So the first thing I need is a source object. And let me zoom out here a little bit so it can fit my model here. Um, and 
and um, I need five server objects and um, I can either drag and drop my server objects um, one by one on my facility view or I can uh, simply double click on the server object definition in the standard library and then um, I, I basically switch to uh, multi-place mode so now I can uh, place uh, multiple server objects on my facility view without having to go back to the standard library and actually um, uh, drag and drop another server object every time I need one. So uh, in order to exit the multi-place mo mode um, you can either uh, hit escape or uh, simply right click. Um, so the next object I need is a sync object to destroy the entities that exit the system and I also need uh, uh, my default entity object instance. So the next step is to connect uh, my servers together. S uh, so I'm going to again double click on my uh, connector object definition. So now I can uh, simply connect all my um, objects together without having uh, to uh, go back to the standard library and select connector every time I would like to add a connector to my model. So now that I have my initial model set up I can um, hit run and basically watch the model run and make sure that everything is connected and um, everything is working correctly. The next thing I would like to do is to go ahead and um, rename the objects in my model. So I'm going to start with my model entity and I'm going to call it uh, customer. And uh, I would also like to rename the other objects. So I'm going to rename my source to um, enter. This is my bread and meat. Um, and then I have my uh, basically oven. Uh, the third stage is the veggies, uh, fourth stage cashier, uh, fifth stage is uh, the drink machine, I'm going to call it drink, and finally customers exit the system. Now the next step is to input the parameters of our model. So uh, I'm going to go back to my uh, PowerPoint for the parameters. So I know the arrival rate of customers is 32 customers per hour, uh, which is uh, Poisson. So I'm, I know that I'm going to have uh, exponentially distributed inter-arrival times. So when I click on my source object, I can see its properties on the right hand side in the properties uh, uh, window here. And as you can see, the default value is exponentially distributed with uh, 0.25 uh, minutes as the average inter-arrival time. And um, I know that my customers arrive at uh, a rate of 32 per hour. So I can simply change that to inter-arrival time by changing this value to 1, point, uh, 1 over 32 which will have a unit of um, in hours. So I'm going to change my units to, uh, to hours. So now I have my inter-arrival time uh, exponentially distributed with mean 1 over 32 and the units are in hours. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do this instead of actually going and calculate uh, the, uh, the actual inter-arrival time manually. So the other parameters are um, servers service times. So um, I'm going to back to my PowerPoint. So for the bread and meat we have one, uh, 1.5 and 2 minutes for the parameters of my triangular distribution. So I can simply uh, go ahead and change these values to 1, 1 1.5 and uh, 2 minutes. And I know I'm going to have the exact same uh, processing time distribution for the veggie station. So I'm simply going to copy uh, this expression and paste it for my uh, veggies um, station. 
uh, for the oven station, we know uh, the parameters are uh, 0.5, 1, and 1.5. So I'm simply going to uh, change this to 0.5, 1, and 1.5. And I'll make sure that the units are uh, in minutes. And I know uh, my cashier and uh, my drink machine also has, uh, or both of them have the same uh, processing time uh, distribution.